Okay, I'm going to start this video with a comment. The first, so this is a comment that I found interesting on the last video. Thanks to all the people who watched it and thank you for the likes. The first observation of Milky Chess was that his CP flatlines, flatlined against LO, IO, IE with no correlation. By the way, LO is pronounced ELO. Oof, I did not know that. I've been calling it ELO for years, like a div. Your R coding at least casts some doubt on the observation. The second observation was that super GM level of play usually had a slightly lower value for CP loss than hands. And you have replicated the number for hands at ELO of 2,600. Third observation was that the variance of CP loss also declines with increasing LO in other players, um, but is pretty random with hands. This you have not replicated yet. I've done that now. And then finally, the argument that hands cheats was supposed to be that hands at 2,600 plus displays a combination of variance and CP loss that is typical of players with an LO of 2,500 and very different from what is seen with players at or above 10, 2,700. I've done some of this. I just thought that was a good intro to this video. So let's open R. And I'm just going to run the whole thing. I'm just going to highlight the whole program and run it. And as you will see pretty soon, it now goes through a list of, oh, it's a shame the numbers don't come up next to them. I should have done that. Um, it goes through a list of about 90 players. In a minute, you'll see some stuff pop up in the environment, top right. There we go. We're in the W's. There we go. There we go. The code has run and yeah players 1 to 81 so what i did was i made a short list of players who have we go to raw and in here we have um white ellos what i did was i put in a line that says let me just go 2690 let me find that yeah top players is a subset of raw with a white LO greater than 2690. One thing that happened there was that Hans Niemann doesn't make that subset in this data, so I had to manually add his chart. Okay, so here we go. So here's one that's got all the levels. It's got all six levels. Oh, the sunlight soon won't be here. Day will be leaving, the night will be near. But there's always somewhere to go, someone to talk to. Never be alone. But even the city that never sleeps can't satisfy me. Right, so this is the overall trend. It's made from a data set with 15,136 rows. That's because each row in the original data set has two players and each player has a different LO and a different centipawn loss. So you can get 15,136 rows, summarize it. This is what you see, very strong trend. Um, which is almost a straight line, isn't it? It's, there's a little tiny bit of a curve on it, but uh, not so much that it matters. Um, so I probably should be talking about correlation coefficients, but I've just not get got to that bit yet. And I wanted to make an update video. So, yeah. Overall, the mean centipawn loss 
is 44 for 2200 or less and what is that it's hard to read about 20.5 for um 2700 plus okay and now we get some comparisons oh we have magnus carlson this is such an interesting one that he was when he was playing at the lower elos he was below he was like better than average he was better than that level neiman can you really make the case that this guy doesn't follow the trend so here's the trend the bright yellow and the transparent yellow is neiman i don't think you can make the case that this doesn't follow the trend i think it does and here's magnus see how this is the, the overall trend and he's way below it in the lower ranks and again here here's the overall trend and he's way below it so forgive me i'll probably use some clickbait about magnus in the title and uh you can uh, you can put your hate in the comments if you really need to thanks a lot um but no seriously though uh, i felt like the response to the previous video was 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 positive thank you for the likes appreciate it hope you find this one interesting thanks a lot and uh Please like, subscribe, ding the bell, comment below.